That's right, we made it on local LA news. Sort of. Anyway, welcome to the Pit Stop Ranch. And instead of doing the responsible thing and making progress on our long-term project, as we need to because it was never intended to be a long-term project, but a short-term project that's turned into a long-term project. Though really, if you think about it, it hasn't been that long-term. It just feels that way. Instead, we're gonna go to the LA Auto Show. Cause you know, yeah, we're hardcore automotive journalists. Okay, we're starting off with the Ford booth and uh, they got the GT, uh, Ford GT still available. I thought they'd uh, sold out of these already, but uh, apparently they're still available. You can get them. And of course, we had to take a good old look at the Hot Rod Mustang um, because, you know, let's look at the Hot Rod Mustang. Uh, now, uh, Porsche booth, we're going to flip through real quick. Uh, here's a uh, Yellowbird, which is a, a legendary Porsche. Uh, not available for sale, but there it is. Now the GT4 RS is based on what was it, the Cayman, or I, I don't know, I always pronounce it wrong. But that is a real sexy car. Uh, here's the race version of it. So um, a uh, <laughs> a uh, really uh, I don't know, I dig those cars a lot. Uh, here's some photos uh, in the Galpin custom uh, display. It's kind of showing a uh, history of uh, Porsche, some, some kick-ass examples of Porsches through the years and, and, and some of the racing heritage. Um, uh, Porsche fanatics will be able to identify the models. I will not uh, attempt to as I will get it completely wrong. So enjoy. How are you? Is it okay if I take some video? You, I will definitely do that. These are really, these are really awesome photos. You take these photographs? Yes, sir. Welcome to Nature's Nostalgia. <laughs> Greetings to you from Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Excellent. And one of my favorites over there. I don't know who's got. Not yet. The car with the recycled pins. The recycle bin. Oh, the recycle bin. Oh yeah, yeah, the the the, the metro. Yeah. yeah, the Nash Metro. That one there. It's in Paul. You can see the Paul script on it. And edit the dig digital edits. Yes. And so once you go in and make your edits and you transfer it onto the metal canvas, it keeps the color mm -hmm. intensity. Whereas if it were cottons or something like that type of canvas, mm -hmm. it's going to absorb it and yeah. not be as vibrant. Yes. Take a look at the book. Mm. I have call a... it Nature's Nostalgia. Well, what inspired you to, uh, to do, are you specifically cars or you, do you do... No, uh, actually um, I document our various uh, human experiences after festivals. Okay. So I'm known for taking photos at Afropunk. Okay. Uh, but uh, I am from the South and I'm starting to document the artifacts okay. down South. Shotgun shacks. Okay. Cars. Segregated cemeteries. Okay. So all of these things are very beautiful to me. And when you look at the cars and nature, specifically nature's nostalgia, mm -hmm. I get very excited to see these cars Let's just say some people worship these cars. Mm -hmm. But what happens when they're just sitting there and nature does its thing? Yeah, yeah we're returning back to the earth from which, with, from with back it, back yes, from to with. The roots. Yep. It reminds me of that nostalgic time, but we can also reminiscent of the power of our environment and nature. So that I, I share that with you, and this is my debut from my uh, portfolio of nature's nostalgia. And my name is Abina Ahmed. Make sure you get that too. I do. I did. I did. I did. I, I like. Um... Of course, Nissan was present, and they're going to be showing off their new Z. But they had a 240Z present that, uh, you know, I just had to, you know, take a minute and enjoy. I really like these cars. I had a two, couple 260Zs. I had uh, visions of turning into race cars, or one. I was going to build a race car out of two 260Zs. And uh, who knows, maybe someday I will go ahead and reacquire my 260Z and do such a thing, but uh, it is probably unlikely at this point. I got the 914 Opadville as a road course car. 
And here is the new hot rod engine for the um, the new Z car. They're just calling it Z. Um, apparently with the turbos on it, it is 400 horsepower, which will well, make it go like stink. That's pretty sweet, a uh, factory hot rod. Here's a cutaway of the engine with a bunch of um, plastic on it to show you uh, the internals, all the internals moving and doing their thing. Um, uh, you know, I'll be interested to see what the MSRP on the full hot rod version of it is. It should be a pretty neat little car. Um, I know, and here is the actual example of the new Z car. You can see the uh, lines very much line up with the original uh, 240Z. Now, if you remember, the 350Z was an attempt to uh, do the very much the same thing, but I think they did a little better, a little closer job on this one to make it a little more retro styling, which, you know, there's an argument for and con against it, and there's always the criticism about it just being the 370Z re-skinned. Re, uh, uh, and the 2023 um, Z06 Corvette, it will have the most powerful... Um, naturally aspirated V8 uh, ever put in a production car at 670 horsepower. Dual overhead cam, um, the flat plane crank, as you can see there on the um, setup, it's going to be a monster. It's going to be pretty interesting. Now, an interesting thing, um, Jay Leno did a great breakdown on it with one of the engineers. If you want to go to his channel and check that out, um, I think it's a really nice breakdown of the car. Um, it is an insane supercar killer. I don't know what these cars are going to go for. Um, my impression is they're going to be in the $100,000 ballpark, but who knows. Now, those are truly all carbon fiber. It's not just carbon fiber over an aluminum. Those are true carbon fiber wheels. Um, those were very uh, expensive one time, but now it's on the, on the court. Uh, How are you doing? Do you have any questions? Yeah, well, me tell me about it. it. Yeah. Okay, well, you see here it's a 100% electric car. Yeah? Yes. Um, you can have different configurations with the car. Uh, single motor or dual. Okay. And in this case, this is a dual motor. Okay. So the first motor you see over there. Right. Mm -hmm. That black little thing over there. Even if it looks small, then it's electric motor. Yeah, it's an AC. Yes. Yeah. It's an AC motor, and up front like that, it would, it's, it doesn't need to be. Too that little thing over there gives you 300 horsepower. Right. And then the the second motor is here mm -hmm. uh, with the gearbox. Yeah. Okay. It also gives you another 300, so it's okay. totally 600 horsepower. Uh, even if it's electric, mm -hmm. you uh, we have a that word always comes out with uh, the manual transmission. Yes, gear selector, yeah, yeah. gears, but the and it's a sequential mode. Oh, sequential okay, gearbox. okay. Yeah. How many yeah. speeds? That was the, we have five speeds. Okay, we have five different gears. So obviously you don't have clutch, but you you can play with it. Yeah. Okay. You can drive automatic with it. There's no problem, but if you really want to perform with it, you yeah, yeah. want to go yeah, crazy yeah. with it, you need the gears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also, in here inside, you have some switches. And uh, one of them, uh, you can switch between uh, front wheel drive, back wheel drive, or four wheel drive. Okay. Whatever you want or need in that moment. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is, uh, what is the range on it? Uh, driving normally, you can go up to 200 miles. Okay. What about if you're pushing it? That depends on that's on depends the, on how hard you push it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 both motors foot to the floor, flat foot to the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah batteries under load. Yeah. yeah. But well, anyway, about charging, you have a charging point. Okay. okay. This is the, the one uh, basically you're gonna use through night. Yeah. The, the main one that you're gonna use. Okay. And this thing can charge from zero percent to hundred, which you don't go to zero. Yeah. Uh, in seven hours. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's basically the one that you're gonna use at the garage. Now yeah. is that okay? Uh, your, your house now? Yeah. Do, uh, do you, you? And then no, fast we charger. have the fast one here on the side. And this one can charge the battery from zero to hundred percent in one hour. Oh wow! Okay. okay. So but, is this a uh, uh, 240 versus 120 style, or is it for the the Volt? Or do you I know? don't know the Volt. To be honest, okay, I right. really don't know. But uh, what I do know is that it's, it's really customized, so if you need another type, mm -hmm. they, they change it, yeah? Okay. 
when you when you buy a car, they they put the whatever you need. Okay. Uh, we have different different types. Okay. And and where do, where do you guys make it? We are based at the moment in uh, Hungary. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but we want to try to be around the states as soon as possible. Okay. So we expect them to be like middle of next year. Have the base here already. Okay. Uh, for you to know, for me personally, well, the most amazing thing of the car is not just the power. Everyone can add power yeah, to yeah. that. Yeah, that's easy. The difficult thing is to take the weight out. Yes. Yeah. Um, this thing, dual motor, battery pack, mm. everything on. Mm -hmm. It's fourteen hundred pounds. That's phenomenal. Fourteen hundred. Yes. Yeah, that's phenomenal. How was this thing? How we got to the numbers is because the whole body is one of the biggest mm -hmm. thing on the car. Yeah, yeah. See it's, carbon fiber, yeah. it's carbon fiber. It's carbon fiber, and it's even it's really really hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really hard. Still, all this body weighs eighty pounds. Yeah. It's that's really light. that's yeah. the advantage of carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. what, what Starting price is under seven. And uh, also we, we, we made everything from scratch, so the, the chassis is chromoly with them. Uh, okay. With the batteries, we we build the battery, we just buy the cells and we build the battery okay. how we want it because we need a... Who do you buy the cells from? Sorry? Who do you buy the cells from? The cells from LG. LG. Okay. And uh, we have it here. The battery is here okay. and also here. Okay. We put it in the T shape so we come with the, with the weight of the uh, yep. people it's going to be in. Uh, so we distribute the weight as best as possible. So pretty. Okay. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's the, the little radiator for cooling the battery pack. That's the, basically the, the main main job of the radiator is to cool down the electronics. Yes. Because uh, that's the most thing uh, that the, the yeah. generate the most uh, heat. Oh yeah. And then obviously you help on the batteries a little bit, and even in the motors if it's needed. You usually need it, but uh, just in case, you know, they get mm -hmm. hot, uh, you use it. New to the LA Auto Show is an exterior test drive and go for go for ride type uh, event. Um, here is uh, Jeep uh, doing uh, their thing. Um, Ford did the same thing with the Bronco and I will be releasing a special video f on just our experience with the Bronco. Uh, it was a fun uh, ride and lots of information from um, Shelby, our driver. And uh, it's a um, nice little uh, way to experience the vehicles and be able to do a juxtaposition between them on these little off-road courses. Uh, I have my opinions on, on them, but uh, it's nice to give it a shot. It's pretty cool. And here we go. This will be our ride. Perfect. My name is Aris. We're in the 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave here. Up first, we do have the off-camber ramp. All four tires going to be at an uneven surface going all the way across from left to right, up and down. Now, does this have uh, the sway bars currently connected or is there... No, this one, yeah, so this one's connected. Okay. Uh, the Mojave does not have the disconnected sway bar, but okay. all the Rubicons do. Yeah. So typically, we could go over this without lifting a tire, but we'll have sli a slight lift. We still okay. have the Dana 44 axle. Okay. So it still works in that cross motion, which... That wasn't that bad of a lift compared to like right. a Cherokee. Right. Um, but yeah, if you check out the screen here on the roll setting, we should get to about 20 to 25 degrees. Okay. We have a low center of gravity, so it keeps us from that tipping point you might feel right there. Yeah, just about 25 there. Okay. It's a 3.6 V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. 11.6 inches of ground clearance on the vehicle so if you ever you know, want to climb stairs right just totally capable the cool thing about the mojave is you can go up to 50 miles an hour in four low which yeah. is yeah. unheard of and i bet you still got the locking rear axle yeah, I don't have them on right now, but yeah, say yeah. it was slippery, you couldn't go up right, this right. hill, I'll turn those on. And uh, okay. the thing about the Rubicon compared to the Mojave as well is that this one only has the rear lockers yeah, yeah. compared to the front. The you know, I, I almost never turn my front lockers on. Yeah, you can check out the trail cam here. It's a nice little front camera, so you can't see what's in front of you. You don't have a spotter when you're off-roading. 
Sometimes. Nice little front camera. We're about 18 feet high. You can check out the pitch setting on our way down. 30 should be about 35 degrees there. Kind of feels like 90. <laughs> nice and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Yeah, thank you much. Well, there you go. That is what caught our fancy and uh, whetted our appetites at the LA Auto Show. Not that we buy new cars, because they're expensive. And, I mean, who'd want to own a car that isn't rusted out? Amateurs. Either way, we are professionals, just not at this. And please leave a comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Let us know what you think. And uh, generally just love us and adore us because we are awesome. Or no, whatever. You do you. Talk to you later.